of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs and this is the underground laboratory where I create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. Now if you're familiar with the other Miscrit videos, you know that I usually categorize the Miscrits in that other category, that other imminent threats to humanity. But today, we're going to do something a little different. So when I say robots, aliens, zombies, and other threats to humanity, we're going to take the other and the zombies and we're going to mash them up. So we are going to mash up miscrits and zombies. Basically, we're going to zombify a miscrit. This is the first time we've ever done this, so let's see what happens. I don't know. This is an experiment. Um, now, I want you guys to know that uh, we will go back to doing the mashups. This is not going to be a mashup of two different miscrits and a zombie. Just, we're going to pick one miscrit and we're going to zombify it. And the reason why we're doing this, and before I get into that, let me tell you, keep sending your suggestions for miscrit mashups. And if you have suggestions for a, a miscrit that you'd like to zombify, let me know because we'll probably do one more episode uh, zombifying a miscrit because we're going to do this. Uh, I usually put two of these out a month or two or three, depending timing. But we're going to take, uh, we're going to do this for the month of May because. I'm doing a little cross promotion. So you guys might know me as just the guy who creates miscreants, but did you know I also create comic books? I do. And uh, so I am launching a Kickstarter for my comic book. It's Young and the Dead. It's a kid versus zombie story. So it's kind of a cross between that movie Goonies and Night of the Living Dead. And uh, it's a really cool story and got three issues done. So I'm launching the Kickstarter for this. So it's kind of a cross promotion, I thought. And you know, this is heavily has to do with zombies, zombies and kids and everything like that. So anyway, this is the this is the thing I'm launching. So I want to do a cross promotion. So I figured what the heck, let's zombify Miscrit. Now, the other thing I want to let you guys know, because I know a lot of you fans of Miscrits are in countries other than the US. And the problem when you do things like this, because I'm not a big company like Amazon, um, it costs money to ship things to other countries. And that's kind of a bummer because I don't want you guys to have to pay all this extra money that, you know, frankly, there's no way around it. I, I've got to charge to ship to other countries. But what I can do is I can throw in other stuff, other other goodies, if you will, that, that kind of offset that cost, that shipping cost. So um, if you are outside the U.S., I'm going to also be including uh, the Keep Out Zombie print. And I've got a whole bunch of buttons here you can see. So those are going to be included. And uh, yeah, so really excited about this thing. Uh, check it out. You can go to youngandthedead.com. That'll take you right to the Kickstarter. But uh, yeah, I'd really appreciate your support. If it's something you're interested in, I think you will. I think you'll like this because I put a lot of time and effort in this book. And I'm really proud of it. So if you like what I do with Miscrits, you'll probably like this too. Especially if you like what I do with the zombie Miscrit. Because this is right in line with this. So... But you guys are you guys tuned in to see Miscrits. And now that you know there's gonna be a zombie, you're probably like, oh, that's kinda cool. But what Miscrit could he possibly turn into a zombie? Well, I've given this a lot of thought. I decided to pick a Miscrit that I designed. And I'm gonna go with Moomba, who is sort of an Egyptian kind of cat, almost like a Sphinx type mummy thing. And I always think mummies are sort of, I wanna say the original zombies. I don't know what came first. I know there were zombies like, like, um, there's the two different kinds of zombies. They're kind of the zombies that are in a trance, that are controlled by somebody, but then there's the flesh-eating zombie. But, uh, though, you know, mummies don't usually eat brains and things like that, they are kind of the walking dead, rotting and everything like that, and they're living dead. So, I thought that would be a good one to do. So, we're going to take Moomba, and we're going to zombify it. So, let's get to it. Okay, so here we go, and uh, this is something we haven't done before. I don't know that, uh, I was going to say I don't know that there's been a zombie miscrit before, we, and technically I don't think there has. There, There is a miscrit uh, named Frankensnarl, who is a Halloween miscrit, and he's sort of like a dog kind of werewolf, but he was... He was sort of designed to be more of a Frankenstein, but he is kind of a, a mixed... He, he, there's parts of him in certain evolutions that look very zombie-esque, so that's probably the closest thing, but I don't I don't think anyone's ever taken like an existing miscrit and, and zombified it like this, so this should be really fun, and I think this is this is a good one to, to tackle, uh, Moomba. Um, so, so as you can see, I am using my red Colorace pencil, and we're just kind of laying in the basic drawing 
and it's really fun to do this because you 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 take you, you take sort of the pose and everything of the original miscrit and then you change things around for instance so Mumba has this sort of Egyptian accoutrement that's that's kind of all over him like uh, you know bracelets and things like that so I want to make make it kind of cracked and everything and um, of course we want to have like bones showing and his kind of brain exposed and it's a little gross man this this probably I don't know I mean well I guess there's there's some you know more frightening images and more frightening creatures in the game so I don't know I don't I'm not sure that this is anything that Broken Bowl would ever you know want to put in the game but again this is just for fun and a little I thought it'd be a fun cross promotion with the comic book that I've got coming out so so yeah this is um, again sort of laying out one thing you know I like to show I like to show the different layers when I'm drawing zombies so you'll have you know of course if you've ever seen like a cross section of like the human body Body or you know an animal body or whatever um, you've got of course under the skin and then you've got the muscles and then you've got bones and everything so just kind of you know I like to expose different parts of it so some of it will just be flesh and some of it you'll see like some of the muscle exposed and then might get down to brains or bone and everything like that so um, and of course the tail which um, I, I guess the tails tails I guess don't have do they have bones I don't know, do tails have bones? I I know like dinosaur tails, they have bones, so I don't know. Um, I'm not sure, I don't, just, I, maybe it's like a thin like cartilage type thing, I don't, I'm not sure. But anyway, so I just, I'm showing some tendons and things like that from the exposed, kind of the tails kind of ripped and rotting and everything like that, so. Um, this is gonna be, this should be a fun one to color too. Now, the general color scheme of Momba is, is, Oh, the other thing that I kind of cheated a little bit on was most of his body, like you can see in the original drawing where the bandages are kind of falling apart in places and he, under, it's exposed that he's kind of made out of um, like, like stone, like uh, almost like a pyramid, like a sphinx. So what I, and of course that doesn't really work so far as zombie or doesn't kind of give that effect. So I'm kind of imagining that that maybe that's like an outer coating, the, the, um, the kind of the the stone and then underneath that you've got the the skin and the the muscle and all that kind of stuff so um so what i did and i'm draw i'll draw like little little pieces of stone falling down on the ground like it's kind of fallen off and exposed the rest of them and everything so so now i'm using this new pen that i got it's a zebra brush pen really cool and uh <laughs> you know I, sometimes i don't know why i mention <laughs> mention my tools because people don't pay attention like i could mention i could do a whole video and mention the tools over and over again and then i'll get people like what kind of pen are you using so but that's cool that's cool i you know um but anyway that's what i'm using for this is it's a zebra brush pen and it works really good and i'm uh, really happy with it sometimes what i originally liked about it was that it didn't it didn't really bleed when I go in to add the markers, um, but then I was doing another sketch card and I had some problems with bleeding, which is weird. But I didn't have it on this one, so I don't know. Maybe maybe I didn't give the other one enough time, enough time to dry or something. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, so and of course I'm using the kind of the natural color paper that paper that I was using on the. Um, uh, the mashups and everything and again like I said before please continue to send in your mashup ideas um, I haven't stopped doing mashups I'm just taking a little break and then if you got some some ideas for misquits that you want to zombify let me know about those too and um, if you did submit ideas for uh, misquit before uh, a mashup or whatever those are still uh, most of those are still out there and they're sort of in the in the the hat so to speak to pull from so I mean it's not like if it didn't get chosen that first time then it's not gonna happen it, I'm still pulling back from I've got all the suggestions that haven't been done yet and uh, that's they're still all you know all eligible so just so you guys know that um, and let's see where we're at so yeah getting so that's the one thing I was gonna say as far as the color scheme um, he's mostly blue and kind of this uh, sort of natural color uh, there's the golds of course with the jewelry and the the, the gold and uh, but uh, I figured uh, throw in some green because I like the green with the blue and and I don't know when I draw zombies I always like to draw them green like their skin just kind of 
turns to, to, to a greenish color, so I kind of like that look. So, so that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, and you can see I've left, left some space for, um, to start adding the, the exposed like muscle and stuff and even got this little intestines and things falling out. Pretty gross, but, but f definitely fun to draw. Um, so, so yeah, let's see. Uh, so a little more about the, the comic and the Kickstarter. Um, I've been working on this comic for a little while now. The, I've got three issues done. I just wrapped up the third issue. So that's kind of what's prompted me to do this Kickstarter and, uh, and just create a, a campaign for that. Um, and uh, it should be it should be something pretty exciting. I think I think a lot of you, you people might 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 dig it. And you can see if you just go if you go to youngandthedead.com, um, just check it out because uh, there's some samples of the artwork on there. There's uh, a bunch of uh, cool extras that you can add and, and all kinds of things. So it's uh, it should it should be really fun and interesting. Um, the uh, the one thing I wanted to tell you. And this is sort of, this is, hopefully this will uh, be a good incentive to maybe try to back the project. But, so I think Kickstarter has rules against doing like raffles and things. So I, I can't really do a raffle. But, you know, if, if this drawing right here, this Miskit drawing, um, this original drawing that, I'm, that you see right here, if, it, if I'm like packing up uh orders to ship out to overseas folks and everything like that or people in other countries and if this if this drawing should happen to like slip out of my hand and fall into one of those packages i mean there you know i mean stranger things have happened so i mean who knows i mean somebody might just accidentally wind up with this drawing in in one of their packages so um you know like i said that could happen so <laughs> Uh, anyway, so here we go. Uh, just again, I like to put the white outline around it to kind of pop it out. Um, I, th I think it kind of, it just, I don't know, I, it reminds me of old, like the 80s stickers that you used to get with a little white outline around it when you, and it, it kind of, to me, it just kind of pops it out a little bit. So I always like to do that. And of course, add some white highlights, but that's about it. That's, uh, that's Moomba Zombie. So thanks for liking. Thanks for following. Consider backing the Kickstarter at youngandthedead.com and I'll see you guys later. That is all. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no.